and welcome to How to Open Things. Today's episode will be about boxes. Now, you just went to the post office and you picked up your brand new meal kit. You're excited to get cooking, get eating. But how do you open the box? Well, that is a problem that occurs all too often, and that's why you're here, to learn how to open this box. Now, it's very important that you follow all of these directions to a T. This can be very difficult for beginners, and I'm just trying to make it as simple as possible. So just follow my, my direction. You'll be able to get this done in no time. Now, first off, I'm going to start with a beginner mistake I see all too often. Now, as you can see here, I have this spoon, and the spoon just is not cutting it. I can't open this box with this spoon. So, it's important that you have the proper tools. I'm going to show you the proper way to get those proper tools and how to properly use them. So step one is you're going to have to go out to your car. Um, does not have to be a great car. That's just what I have. But what is important is that you forget to unlock your car and you have to go back uh, and try again with the car unlocked. So for the next step, you're going to be going to your local grocery store. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you go to. And you have to pick up a bottle of Cran apple juice. Brand does not matter. And then you also need a case of pineapple juice. Like, once again, brand does not matter. So once you get back home, you're going to want to pour some of that cran apple juice into a glass, and you're going to want to follow that up by pouring some pineapple juice into uh, the exact same glass. And then once that's all filled up, uh, you're going to want to say a prayer to the All Father Odin. The words will come to you as you are making this prayer, so do not worry about uh, this going into it. And then you're going to take a sip of that glass, which is going to cause your soul to leave your body, and you will appear in Valheim. So once you enter into Valheim, you are going to want to pick up uh, two pieces of wood. And then once you get those two pieces of wood, you're going to want to pick up four pieces of flint. You can usually find those uh, in the water. You know, as you can see here, the little shiny rocks. And then once you get those pieces of flint, you're going to want to get two leather scrap, which are found from uh, killing boar. And once you get back to your house, get you go to your crafting table. And then you can finally craft your flint knife. Now that you have that knife, you will use it to hold up your local micro center and take a personal computer from them. The footage of me doing this was confiscated by the police and will be used as evidence against me for the charge of armed robbery, which I vehemently deny any wrongdoing. So I cannot provide said footage at this time. Now that you have a computer, you'll want to obtain steam. This can be done easily by filling a kettle with water, lighting a flame beneath it, and heating the water. You will know steam is finished installing once vapor is shooting from the spout, coupled by a high-pitched whine. So once you get steam installed, you're going to want to go to the homepage here, and you are going to want to look up Halo the Master Chief Collection. You're going to click on that, uh, but you are going to have to put in your birthday. I just put whatever is left in the autofill, and you are going to scroll down to Add to Cart. So once you get the Halo uh, Master Chief Collection installed, you're going to want to hit on uh, Campaigns. And then after that, you're going to hit Halo 2 Anniversary. You click Missions. And you want to go to the third mission, which is Metropolis. And you can see here it's going to ask for scoring and visuals. That stuff doesn't really matter, so you can just click Accept Options. Uh, as well as a difficulty, which does not matter. I'm going to pick Normal. And I'm going to put four random skulls on just to make my life a little bit easier. All right, so now you're going to want to get into the uh, Warthog here. And I'm just going to keep driving across this bridge. Um, you know, as long as I just picked the Warthog because it's a little bit faster than the tank. But if you use the tank, it's just as fun, just as easy. And we're just going to go all the way down here into the tunnel. There would be two rates here if you took the tank, but I did not take the tank. And to speed up time, you're just going to ramp over there with the Warthog. Now, it is imperative that you get stuck here for approximately 10 seconds. If you do not do that, this is just isn't going to work. You're not going to be able to open that box. But now, once you get past that little spot there, you can just keep driving through. Uh, the other Warthog did not spawn. does not matter. We're just going to keep going through. Uh, now, there's the other Marines in the normal Warthog other than the Gauss Warthog. And you are going to want to steal a Wraith here. just makes life a little bit easier. You uh, destroy the other Wraith. You know, kill everything around here. Make sure the Phantom's destroyed going to wait there kill that last jackal and you're going to want to say hi to uh, the obama marine once you say hi to him you're just going to continue on the mission as you would any other time uh you're gonna have to wait here for the scarab it's kind of annoying now you see me shooting at throwing some grenades not going to help so you're just going to follow that marine up these stairs grab the rocket launcher 
And now I'm going to skip ahead because I blew myself up with the rocket launcher twice. And now you get to the point where you find this white elite and you want to anger him. So he pulls out an energy sword. And you, once you kill him, you pick up the energy sword and now you have an energy sword to open your box. And just like that, you now have your energy sword. Now you can open up that box. Well, let's give it a try. So as you can see, cuts right through, opens up first try. Now, make sure to tune in next time for when I teach you how to open doors. Is it Obama? <laughs>